Virgos, happy birthday. I know I finally got to the Virgo birthday reading. Um, I hope you guys had a really awesome birthday season. I hope you guys had fun, even though it was, you know, a bit of an intense time energetically, especially with trying to get shit done, close these out, close, close these out, jeez. <laughs> closing out karmic cycles. Virgo, as I was getting uh, ready to get into your energy and getting ready to tap into the cards, I heard your plans are ready. Some of y'all might be overthinking it. You know who you are. Okay, that ain't for everybody, but you know who you are, okay? So for those who've never seen a birthday video of mine, basically what it is, it's very, very, very general. It's whatever messages wanna come out for you guys. It is a bonus reading for your birthday as a little birthday present. Uh, we're gonna do a couple spreads, probably two, at least two, maybe three, depending on how long these reads go, okay? So keep in mind, because they are incredibly general, they could be literally for any aspect of your life, for anyone you're connected to energetically, for anyone who's in your space, and of course you, and messages can be reversed, vice versa gender doesn't matter what else do we need to say here uh any other questions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer please check out the link below virgos let's get started here using rider weight as the primary for this first spread and plus i got a couple new decks which i'm so excited about uh and thank you to those who also sent me decks i will be checking the bio box relatively soon probably on monday today's saturday the day that i'm filming um i'll check it on monday uh because i have a feeling i got some I have a feeling I got some packages in there. So I'm going to go check. Anyway. Okay, Virgos. Any general messages for my Virgos? Oh, sorry for shaking the camera. Oh. Uh oh. I'm seeing a baby. Like, that's very fucking clear. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm seeing a baby in, like, a ba I guess that's a bassinet. Bassinet? No, it's definitely not a crib. That's gotta be a bassinet. That's gotta be a bassinet. Uh, it doesn't mean you're having a baby. If you just had a baby, congratulations. Or if you know you're having a baby, congratulations. Um, oh God, I'm actually already getting a couple things. We don't have any cards out yet, Virgo. Um, <clears throat> Virgo, you could just be birthing something. Like I said, I mean, that message was very clear. Your plans are ready, okay? For those who are trying to almost make them too perfect. I love you, Virgo. That's like one of the greatest things about you guys. You guys make sure shit runs smooth, right? Uh, you could just be birthing something and it's like, it's here. Okay. It's here. It's here. It's here. Um, what? Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, Virgos, this is definitely not for everybody. <laughs> for those who, who, uh, for those who are aware that your, uh, your children have not been born yet, but they're waiting to be. Uh, they're around a lot. They're helping you. They're also trying to get your attention to something. Is this one person? No, it's multiple. Okay, thank you. Um, this is interesting. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So Virgos, if, if that is like making you tingle or it's kind of hitting you in like your, your solar or in your upper chakras, like as I'm saying it, it's making you tingle in, in your, you know, different chakras. <laughs> um, you might want to try calling out to them. This is cool. This is really cool. They're showing me. It's like they're around. Like they, they're around. I feel like this is for Virgos who uh, will be having children in the next three to five. Thank you. Three to five years. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Anyway, I, I, let's get into the reading. But that was really cool. Okay, Virgos. Any messages for my Virgos? Spirit, what do you want my Virgos to know? That. <laughs> Okay, what I just told you, they definitely want you to know that. Uh, that's really, really important for some of you. Any other messages for my Virgos? Any other messages for my Virgos? You know, they're correcting me. I said years, and I think that holds true for a lot of you, but they're focusing on three to five. Okay, so that can mean pregnancy in three to five days, weeks, months, or you could be having children in a March month or a May month, or again, it could be three to five years, okay? They really want me to emphasize that, because I said years, and it does hold true for you guys, but they want to emphasize the numbers specifically, so that's like, okay, three to five days, three to five weeks, three to five months, three to five years, or March or May for conception or birth, okay? Ooh. Any messages for my Virgos? Oh, no, we don't got any cards out yet, guys. Any messages for my Virgos? All right, let's get started. Any messages for my Virgos? It's too many. 
Any messages for my Virgos? Ooh. Ay. Oh. Really? Three of Swords. Libra energy. I believe that's Saturn and Libra to be specific. I'm drawn to the rain, actually, in the background. That's interesting. I'm really drawn to the rain there. Some of you guys could be purging quite a bit or cleansing or detoxing. Others detoxing. Yeah, some of you guys are detoxing almost like discomfort. Some of you have been having some issues with like with actual physical pain. This is interesting. For some of you, I'm getting physical pain and it's relating to either your diet or something that just really needs to be detoxed from your body or even just your chakras. But there's something about physical pain here for some of my uh, my Virgos, especially if you're cuspies, especially if you're cuspies, cuspers, whatever. Um, but I'm getting cleansing with that. I like that. I really like that. There is heartache too, though, that I'm sensing for some of my Virgos. So I'm picking up on a lot of different uh, Virgo groups here. Like I said, some of you are detoxing because you're having physical pains. You're not sure what that's about. Some of you need to detox for spiritual purposes or just to feel good, just to feel better. Um, <clears throat> and some of you are definitely experiencing heartbreak. Let's see here. Oh, moon in reverse. Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. Something's being revealed here, Virgo. Some, yeah, for those that are experiencing heartbreak, something's being revealed to you. And it's, it feels like a oh, secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. Um... I was about to say, almost like it's something that you were hiding from yourself. I think that's only for a few of you where it's like a little bit of denial and then you're like, oh, I, I accept it. And then you go through the pain and you deal with it. Most of you, this is a secret that was kept from you or something that was like right under your nose. Something that was right under your nose. Oh man. Okay. Let's keep it going, Virgos. Let's keep it going. We're definitely going to look at that moon card. Any other messages for my Virgos? Did I get a peeker? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, that's interesting. Thought I would. Okay. Any other messages for my Virgos? Any other messages for my Virgos? Oh, shit. Any other messages for my Virgos? Oh, my God. Oh, Virgos. Star in reverse, Aquarian energy, and the Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. That Nine of Swords in reverse, um, just a little tidbit with tarot. When a card comes out in reverse, you can either interpret it as negation of the card meaning or a more intense meaning. I'm feeling more intense here. I'm feeling a lot of crying. I'm almost feeling like heavy depression as well. <sighs> Damn, Virgos. I'm sorry. I know it's like a birthday reading and we're starting out heavy as shit. Um, someone feels like they've lost their dream here a little bit. Someone's feeling like they've lost hope in something, lost faith in something. Uh, a lot of anxiety, a lot of crying. I do get a lot of crying with this because something has come to light. A secret's been revealed, a truth has been revealed, and it's heartbreaking. I'm still picking up on some of you guys that are cleansing because of pain, like physical pain. For those that that resonates with, just take that home with you. But for most of you, this is about something being revealed, something being brought to light, and it's crushing. It's crushing. Overall energy, we have King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air. So someone who's taking action, very masculine energy. And then we have the Chariot Cancerian energy. Virgos, I do feel like this is your energy, actually. You know, and it's funny because it's like we've got such, not funny, but that's not the right word. Um, we have such intense heartache, pain, and distress. But overall, this is about moving forward. Moving forward, moving on, and taking action and being confident that it's the right decision. So Virgos, you or someone you're connected with might spend some time in this heartache, might spend some time in this heartbreak from whatever truth is being revealed here, whatever clarity is coming to light. But it's also very motivating to get up and go and like leave whatever situation is so heartbreaking behind. And underneath that, yeah, four swords in reverse. Oh, shit. Yep. Four swords in reverse, Libra energy with the seven of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. Yeah, something's come to light. It does feel like a secret. If And for a couple of you, it's denial. It's something you've been not accepting within yourself. And so you accept it. You go through that really tough period of feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. But then it motivates you to get up on your butt, get up in your chariot and go. Okay, and go to wherever it is you need to go next or put it behind you, right? For those of you where that resonates. Others of you where it's someone keeping a secret from you, it, it does feel like there's deception about that. It does feel like there's deception here. And it, it, it's, it's, it's crushing. I got to be honest. It's crushing. We have the sun underneath, which is illumination here with temperance, healing, and balance. So Virgos, ooh, ooh, with the ace of wands. I like that. I like that. I like that. Virgos, whatever this truth is, is coming to light. Yeah, it's going to hurt. It's going to suck. But you know what? Very quickly, you're going to realize this is something I needed to understand. This is something I needed to know, whether it's something you've been in denial about with yourself. Most of you, like I said, it's a deceptive 
a secret coming to light from someone else and it's going to push you to wherever it is you need to go next and it's going to bring you that ace of wands energy which is a lot of passion a lot of inspiration and creativity and just that fire to get up and go so i like that let's look at the moon in reverse remember inside is always good inside is always positive don't forget that inside's always positive even if it hurts um said by a scorpio um okay let's go and look at this moon in reverse here what's this truth coming to light for virgo Tell me about the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse for Virgo. Tell me about the moon in reverse for Virgo. What's this truth coming to light? Yeah, like I said, some of you, it's like something that you realize you haven't accepted within yourself about your life or about your or about you, right? And it could be in in the form of a download or even intuition. So just know that too for those in that group. Where it's just between you and yourself and yourself, okay? Tell me about the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse for Virgo. Someone could have, um, because we've got the three of swords and the moon here, someone could have a moon in Libra placement um, or moon in Pisces or Cancer. Yeah, moon in Libra, Pisces, or Cancer. I'm picking that up. Tell me about the moon in reverse. moon in reverse Tell me about the moon in reverse someone could also be a cancer leo cusper here Tell me about the moon in reverse not necessarily just showing you just telling you what i see tell me what the truth is being revealed here for virgo oh virgo for those where this is something that you've been in denial about within yourself or your own life it feels deep because i can feel the resistance i can feel the resistance on your part Tell me about the moon in reverse. Just rip off the band-aid, Virgo. Just rip it off. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse for my Virgos. Hmm. What's this truth being revealed for Virgo? I am seeing a snake. That could be a lot of things. That could be a lot of things, okay? And I'm actually seeing a green. I'm actually seeing a green snake. I feel like it's a creative energy first and foremost. It could be Kundalini for those who are resonating with that. But snakes, like I said, they come in a lot of different flavors depending on what they're doing. The snake that I'm seeing is is green and it seems very calm. Ooh, we got a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be fire. Oh, not fire. Whoa earth or water could be doing with the fire sign virgo they could have the fire placement you could have a fire placement but queen of pentacles in reverse this is someone who's not exactly loyal this is someone who really focuses on themselves loyal to themselves this is actually known as the disloyal spouse card or disloyal partner card okay <sighs> shit tell me about the moon in reverse tell me about the moon in reverse i'm also hearing caddy i am hearing caddy so this could be someone in your life who's caddy okay or um again it could be vice versa where we've got cross watchers watching i know cross watchers watch the birthday videos um so also keep that in mind tell me about the moon in reverse because it is earth energy two of cups cancerian energy soulmate energy yeah someone's not giving to a connection i feel like someone is is being a little selfish in a connection or taking advantage of a connection here tell me about the moon in reverse I have the moon in reverse. I'm also getting ingenuous, like almost like, oh, a mask. Virgo, someone's wearing a mask here in a connection. Be very cautious of that. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse for my Virgos. Queen of Pentacles is very interesting. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse for my Virgos. Tell me about the moon in reverse for my Virgos. Tell me about the moon in reverse for my Virgos. All right, we got a couple other cards that came out here. Let's see. Oh, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. 
Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, and the Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Someone could be having money trouble here, and you know, someone like this could also. Uh, I am, I'm getting a lot of just selfishness and ingenuous energy. Someone could be in a connection for money, just so you guys know. But Eight of Pentacles in reverse is like not focused energy it's very unproductive energy nine of swords because someone is up in their head we got the nine of swords in verse here where i feel like it's actually amplified as opposed to dissipating and five of pentacles someone feels very alone very out in the cold very abandoned someone feels very abandoned um virgo i gotta be honest i almost feel like it's you yeah it's like you're looking at someone like you're so ingenuous who are you like what is this mask that you're wearing why are you really in this and it's like they're becoming more and more selfish and it's more and more obvious, which is also indicative of the energy that we're in. So keep in mind, these are very general. So whenever you're guided to watch this stuff, guys, that's when you're supposed to watch it. OK, so this could have happened in the past. This could be coming up or this could be happening right now for you. But yeah, it's like someone's like not really putting in the right amount of effort. And Virgos, it's making it very obvious too that they're in it for their own benefit and that they don't exactly have your best interests at heart, even though there is a soulmate connection here right and it's making someone feel very like abandoned rejected or like on the verge of like is this person about to leave me over energy yeah we've got the seven of cups scorpionic energy confusion confusion someone's no also realizing that someone's got a lot of options and it's a little heartbreaking here underneath that we do have the knight of pentacles in reverse virgo energy could also be earth or fire this is someone who's like just stuck in confusion stuck in confusion and not knowing what to do about a situation or someone could be like oh my god i have so many options and i want to pursue but i don't know what to do about it yeah i feel like this queen of pentacles energy is like drifting 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 but they're kind of sticking around for their own benefit you know what i mean for their own purposes for their own selfish purposes and someone's feeling really rejected really abandoned um someone also feels like they're about to be left let's look at the queen of pentacles in reverse actually let's take a oh I'm so sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to get a different setup for that. Because um, I have a little phone tripod, but it just, it sits so low. It's like you wouldn't even be able to see my face with like the way the angles work. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Let's use the Norman deck here for the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone's not being loyal to a connection for sure. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about this individual that Virgo is dealing with. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. If it's vice versa, it's vice versa, okay? Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, confusion. With the clouds, energy of six. With the King of Wands, yeah. With the King of Wands here, okay? Yeah, someone's not being loyal, and so the other person's heading out, essentially. A um, lot of confusion here. Talk about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Talk about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Talk about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more about this individual that Virgo's dealing with. Ooh loyalties and commitments guys this is a commitment card 25 bring it down to a seven with the ace of wands and we did see some of that virgo so this is interesting it's like there's passion here and there's commitment on the table but there's a lot of confusion around it it's almost like are you committed to me are you not committed to me like i said it's like loyalty is being questioned because someone feels like they're about to be left someone's got some options here uh and someone feels like they're not giving to the connection there is a selfish energy around this yeah now we have the ma the male the male 28 which is a cyclical energy with the ace of cups we have the ace of wands ace of cups with the king of wands the king of wands is holding which i do feel like is your energy virgo actually if it's vice versa it's vice versa but i do feel like it's your energy you're holding an ace of wands and an ace of cups you've got a lot of love you got a lot of passion and you want to give it but you're very confused as to who you're with it's like you're looking at who you're with and it's like i don't feel like you're actually loyal to me and you're seeing more and more of who this person really is and you don't know what to do and virgo you might actually have options i think you both might have options uh-oh jerry springer shit you both might have options. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. Oh. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is very interesting. 
we have the house with the female and the tower okay tower is like uh like the hair font tower is like the hair font okay and with the house house is very indicative it's kind of like the four of wands in this deck we have six of wands sword of truth ace of swords with the king of cups someone knows where their heart really lies someone knows where their heart really lies here um i don't feel like this is actually the female's energy i feel like this is the masculine's energy so and it's funny, Virgo, because you're coming across very masculine. Whether you're female or not, you're in your masculine energy. You're in King of Wands energy. And like I said, it's right here. You're the King of Wands right here. And you have an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Wands. <laughs> you have an Ace of Cups. You have an Ace of Wands. You're wondering about loyalties. You're wondering about commitments. And I do feel like you have someone in your environment that you're just like, they're not loyal to me. They're not loyal to me. They're not loyal to me. What's going on with this person? I think they have options. But then over here... It's like there's a contract to be made victoriously and there's truth and clarity around this feminine energy with the house, four of wands, and love here, okay? I don't feel like this is the queen of pentacles energy. I gotta be honest with you. Overall, we have, I can't say this word, diviner, 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 esoteric, okay? There's spirituality involved in this, divine timing involved in this. I'm gonna look into this female to get more answers here because like i said i don't feel like it's the queen of pentacles i really don't feel like it's the queen of pentacles so let's take a peek there i'm actually going to use tarot on this little tiny card <laughs> on that little itty bitty card uh i'm going to use the gilded for this one tell me about this female with the ace of swords because ace of swords is truth it's truth it's genuine energy but there's a queen of pentacles here who's coming off very ingenuous and very catty and very selfish a little money focused tell me about the female here Tell me about the female with the ace of swords. Keep in mind, guys, gender does not matter. Like I said, guys, gender does not matter. Tell me about this female with the ace of swords. Tell me about this female with the ace of swords. Tell me about this female with the ace of swords. Tell me about this female with the Ace of Swords. Tell me about this female with the Ace of Swords. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy. So there's a bit of a standstill right now around this, this feminine energy. Again, gender doesn't matter. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Look at that Queen of Pentacles on the bottom right here. Um, yeah, it's like, I almost feel like someone's wondering if this female is worth investing in. Tell me about this female with the Ace of Swords. Tell me about this female with the Ace of Swords. Tell me about this female with the Ace of Swords. Tell me about this female with the Ace of Swords. Oh, tell me about this female with Ace of Swords. Uh oh, Virgo. <laughs> what you got yourself into? Tell me about this a woman with the Ace of Swords. <sighs> Virgo. So look at all these cards that just came out here. We got that King of Wands again, but now it's in reverse, which is fire energy. Could also be um, air. It's Leo energy with the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is in sincerity. It's also a message of love, an offer of love, but it's sincere. Overall, oh my God. Oh no. Oh, uh oh. Oh, <laughs> ten of pentacles, ten of cups, and the fucking two of cups. Sorry, my excuse my language. Virgo energy, Piscean energy, and Cancerian energy. Wow, that's that's a that's a wow. That's a whole lot of love and happiness right here. Whole lot of love and happiness. You know, Virgo. I'm picking up on a lot of different energies going on here for different scenarios. So to paraphrase, let's hit this midpoint here and paraphrase what's going on here. Virgos, there's some truth coming out. For some of you, if you're in a committed relationship, you're coming to realize that there's someone that you're around or someone you're committed to that doesn't exactly have your loyalties or your best interest at heart, and you're wondering where to give your love and time and passion to. Some of you do have options, so you're looking at your options. And for those in committed relationships, you both might have options, okay? And it's almost like action time. Again, I'm getting that planning energy. Look at that. Ten of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. That's a whole lot of happiness. That's a whole lot of security. That's a whole lot of abundance. That's a whole lot of love as well, Virgo. And you're ready to take action here to go towards your happiness, to go towards your Ten of Cups. For a lot of you, this is 
a different person than the person you're with for those in committed relationships. For those where you're not committed to anybody, where you're dating or you're talking, you're single and mingling or you're super, super single. Um, no, not for super, super singles. I take that back. Not for super, super singles. Um, it's coming to light that there is someone around that you might have had mis misconceptions about, misperceptions about, where you could have really questioned someone's uh, loyalty, like if they're worth your time, if they're worth your investment, because you just weren't sure whether you've been jaded in love or you're just like wondering about this person, like who are they really, are they really gonna backstab me? And with this clarity, you're realizing, oh shit, I was wrong. Like, oh shit, I was wrong. What's actually going on here is that they're my 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles, okay? So just hold on to that for whoever that's for and take what resonates. Let's look at the star in reverse with the nine of swords in reverse. I'm curious about the star in reverse. Uh, let's see spellcasters here. Can I look at the star in reverse for my Virgos? So you guys cool? You guys got that? Okay. I know a lot of, a lot of like a lot of intense energy when this reading. Ooh, five of pentacles, Taurian energy. Feeling that lack, feeling out in the cold, not feeling nurtured is really what I'm getting, not feeling nurtured. Yeah, Virgos, for those in committed relationships, you don't feel nurtured in the situation you're in and you're looking at your options. Some of you, your partners might have options as well. And you're realizing that there is someone that could be your 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles here, but you're feeling such a lack at where you are. Okay, for those in committed relationships, for those where you're dating someone or talking to someone, I think you were perceiving them as being very disloyal to you or wondering what their true uh, intentions were. And then you're having like a light bulb moment of, oh shit, they're really my 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles. Okay, tell me about the star in reverse. Tell me about the star in reverse. Keep in mind this can be vice versa. Tell me about the star in reverse. Talking about the star in reverse. Who lovers, Gemini energy. I like seeing that. I like seeing that. Yeah, you, you want this connection. Strength, Leo energy. You're seeing this connection. Whoever this person is, Virgo, whether it's someone you've been talking to and you were wondering if they were like being disloyal, and then you're like, oh shit, light bulb moment. No, they're actually like they're actually really loyal. Um, or you're in a committed relationship that's really stifling and with someone who's very selfish and very catty and you're seeing your options and you're like, that's my 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles. Whoever you're seeing as your 10 of cups, your 10 of pentacles, this is a strong ass connection and you're seeing it that way. But because you don't, you're not in the midst of it yet, no matter what situation you're in, you're not in it as of right now, as like, as I'm reading this, you're feeling so not, so unnurtured. And you're looking at this like, this is a strong ass loving connection. That's what I want. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose that. Sign out the star in reverse. Sign out the star in reverse for Virgo. Sign out the star in reverse for my Virgos. Oh my god, I got the six of cups. Sign out the star in reverse for my Virgos. Okay, we got two more cards out here. Wow. Six of cups and judgment. <laughs> wow scorpionic energy for both of these cards this is also fire soulmate karmic past life energy as well you've definitely had past lives with this person before or you know this person you have a long history with this person either way sense of familiarity with whoever your jesus with whoever your ten of cups ten of pentacles is here okay whether it's the person you've just been talking to kind of dating that you've had misconceptions about or it's one of your options and you're stuck in a situation that's not nurturing for you. And you see your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, is like, yeah, I gotta go that way. That's the right judgment call and you know it. What's interesting though is overall, we have a Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, Jupiter energy, with the Nine of Wands, Sagittarian energy. So like I said, there's a bit of a standstill because you're like, do I invest in this person? Do I not invest in this person? Is this person worth my time? Do I go for it? Do I not go for it? This, it tells me you're very guarded, Virgo. It tells me you're scared. Sorry, I'm just the messenger. Um, come back. Why is this so out of focus? Hold on, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just got a text. Anyway, Virgos, you're scared. You're kind of scared to go for this. And I get it. I totally get it. We've all had those moments where it's like, it's too good to be true. Like, could it really? Like, you're like, you're looking at it and you know, but you're like, what if? What if? What if? What if? We are, you're what ifing it a little bit. Virgos, you got to drop that guard because the more you're guarded you are, the more you're bummed out you're going to be that you're actually not part of this connection. So just keep that in mind. Let's get some advice for you. 
And since this is such a romance reading, I did not do that correctly. Since it's such a romance, there you go, reading, let's do romance angel cards, okay? Any messages for my Virgos regarding this spread? And then we'll do the next spread. I can't believe I spent 30 minutes on this one. My bad, guys, my bad. Keep in mind, because I do multiple spreads, sometimes they all correlate with people and sometimes they um, people only resonate with like one of them, all right? So just keep that in mind. Because sometimes if a message has to come out, a message has to come out. They also want me to tell you that spirit does work in funny ways, so just trust that. I wouldn't be surprised if trust comes out here. You're having trouble trusting the situation. You're having trouble trusting that um, this won't blow up in your face. Again, whether you're dating and just had misconceptions about this person or talking to this person and like you really weren't sure about them and now you're having that light bulb moment or you're stuck in a situation that's very stifling with a very selfish person, a catty person or an ingenuous person or someone who's very money focused and you're seeing your options and some of your partner does have options in that situation. You're seeing your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles in someone and you're like, that's it. <laughs> but you're too guarded to go for it. So let's see. Any messages from my Virgos? I think once you like work through that guarded energy, because it's coming from fear of being hurt, which means that there's probably some wounding there that you need to address, then you're going to go for it, okay? All right. Any messages from my Virgos regarding this spread? All right, let me finish this spread. Sorry, they're already pulling me into like a different energy. Stop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish this reading. Jesus. I feel like the next one's going to be about work. Okay. Any messages for my Virgos? Oh, Virgo. Playfulness. I love that. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Have fun, Virgo. You deserve fun. You deserve it. I'm getting a very playful connection here with whoever your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles is. A very playful energy. It's very fun. And they're actually saying to get lost in that. Get lost in it. Because it feels damn good. It feels good. I'm also getting a sense of major alignment here with the red to the white. It just reminds me of the chakras, right? From all the way to like your base, your base, your root, all the way, all the way up to all your upper chakras. There's something about this connection about an, an alignment, which I'm not surprised because we do have, if I can hold this up, we do have the lovers and the two of cups here. It's a very deep ass connection right there. Okay. Not to mention the six of cups as well. You got all the love cards. You got all the love cards here for this person. Ooh, we do have separation though. That's in, oh, because you're distancing yourself. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. I feel like this is about distancing yourself. It landed right on the nine of wands. It landed right on the nine of wands. You're scared of this Virgo. You're scared of this, or you could just be very far from this person, or you could, or especially those who are in committed relationships and this is someone that you're not with. You're, you feel very separate from them and you don't like that. But at the same time, you're so scared to kind of jump in because you're afraid of getting hurt. You're afraid of it blowing up in your face because you just feel like it's too good to be true. Let's see. You deserve love, Virgo. You are lovable. You deserve a very nurturing relationship. You deserve this. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Lovers, the Six of Cups, Judgment. You deserve this, Virgo, and it's okay to go for it. It's not going to blow up in your face if it's meant for you. Some of you, this is a bit of like a self-worth kind of trigger of feeling like, am I really worthy of this kind of love? It just seems too good to be true. Some of you, this is coming down to your self-worth. So just keep that in mind as well. Any other messages for my Virgos? Any other messages for my Virgos regarding this spread? Nope. On the bottom, Virgo, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I feel like this is to be honest with yourself, actually. <laughs> Honestly discuss your feelings with each other and yourself. Focus. Yeah. This is to just have that conversation of how you feel, what you feel, what you're confused about, what you're clear about, and your fears. Because I feel fear with this. I really feel fear with this. Almost like, back off, you're going to hurt me. Back off, this is going to blow up in my face, you know? So be mindful of that, Virgo. And especially for those of you who are still working through ego, uh, please also keep that in mind. Ego, if it's healthy ego, that's great. We need our egos. If it's overdeveloped, that's when we need to kind of check in with ourselves, right? So have the honest conversation with yourself, with this person, on what you really want and what's really going to make you happy. Because Virgos, this is like a, this is a beautiful ass gift. It's a beautiful ass gift, okay? All right, let's go into another spread here. 
Where are we at? Oh God, like 34 minutes. I know this one was so interesting. I couldn't help it. Sorry guys. All right. Let me get all the cards cleaned up. I love the Lenormand deck, man. This is like such an awesome deck. I'm so glad I started learning this one. Okay. Put all these back. Where's the, okay. When I, when I get into readings, guys, like my cards go everywhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, what am I feeling? What am I feeling? I'm feeling Santum Wet Day. Definitely feeling this one. Just make some space for goes. I'm feeling very Virgo. -y. Sorry, I'm so in your energy. I'm like cleaning up. I'm like making sure things like look nice to myself. Anyway, let's go into the next reading. Any different messages for my Virgos? Yeah, I'm feeling career. I'm feeling a lot of pentacles with this. Um, any other messages for my Virgos? Any different messages for my Virgos or for different groups of Virgos, please? I try to set it that way so, like, you know, kind of get a little in there for everybody. Mm. Any different messages for my Virgos? They're just showing me pentacles, like, like it's raining. Like it's raining money. I like that. I love that energy. Any different messages for my Virgos or any messages for different groups of Virgos? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Empress in reverse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy with the two of pentacles and the three of cups. I do feel celebration with this. Three of cups is Cancerian energy. Two of pentacles is Capricorn energy. However, Empress in reverse tells me that there's some, ooh, we got four of wands at the bottom, guys. Um, Empress in reverse, though, there's something kind of being stunted here. Is it doubt? It's doubt. Don't doubt yourself, Virgo. Don't doubt yourself. It's almost like, can I handle this? That's kind of what I'm getting. Can I handle this? Can I handle this load? Can I handle this work? Can I handle putting in all this time and effort into something? That's how it feels. But there's celebration behind it, Virgo. You're afraid to kind of jump into something, and I do feel like it's career. It could be relationship-wise, but it's almost like, can I have it all? Yeah, hell yeah, you can. Hell yeah, you can, Virgo. Of course you can have it all. Yeah, Virgo, I feel really strongly. This is you just doubting yourself if, like, you could really handle the load of something. Like, can I handle work and family and everything else? Can I handle... A really busy career could I handle having a fan like a big family it's like can I handle can I handle can I handle yes you can because there's celebration around this Virgo it feels very very positive it feels very victorious don't let the doubt get in the way three of swords god dang it Virgo stop it <laughs> Libra energy Virgo stop it <laughs> this is where I'm feeling that doubt doubt doesn't do anyone any good it also prevents you from manifesting, which is why you're in reverse, Virgo. That's why you're in reverse. An Empress in reverse can't manifest very well, okay? You can handle this. Stop doubting yourself, because the more you doubt yourself, the more anguish you're feeling, and it, it's self-inflicted. So please stop doing that, please. Any other messages for my Virgos? You can handle it. Just do it. Stop thinking about it and just do it. I love you, but... Stop thinking about it and just do it. Any other messages for my Virgos? Any other messages? Ooh. Ooh, Virgo, what is this? What is this? What is this? Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy with the Page of Pentacles. Virgo, you're revisiting the past. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. I can feel it. You're looking at the past. With that Page of Pentacles energy, it's like analyzing. Stop overanalyzing. Whatever's in the past is in the past. It ain't your present. Okay? Virgo, sorry, I'm like getting a little mama bear with you. Um, Virgos, whatever has happened in the past with you, it's the past. All you have is the now. All we ever have is the now. You got to live in the now with whatever this opportunity is. You can handle whatever this is. You can handle it. Whatever happened in the past is not the opportunity you have now. It's different. It's a different opportunity. It might be very similar. It could be, it could even have the same people. It's a different time. We're in a different timeline too, by the way. We're in a very different timeline now. And this doubt that you're having is only causing you pain. Okay, let's see what else we get. You're wondering if like if people don't have your best interests at heart with this. It does feel like a business opportunity or work related, but like I said, it could also be a relationship. But I feel like there's manifestation with like, can I handle everything? 
Any other messages for my Virgos? Two of Wands in reverse. You got to come to a decision on this Virgo and you will Aries energy. You're going to have to, but the more you get stuck in that like analysis paralysis, it's not going to benefit you. Okay. It won't. Overall energy. We do have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Underneath that, we do have death in reverse. Scorpionic energy. And then we've got you Virgo, Hermit, Virgo energy. And I love that we end with the King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or fire. I do feel growth here, Virgo. I feel growth as you work through your doubt, because you will, you will come to a decision at some point, but there's no point in delaying that decision, right? If you work through your doubt as, you know, work through your doubt in your own way here, Virgo, because with that Knight of Cups universe and Death universe, I feel resistance. I don't know if I want to accept this offer. I don't know if I want to jump into this career. I don't know if I want to dive into having this heavy load or heavy, you know, just a lot of shit in my life or a lot of juggling, a lot of balls. I don't know if I can handle it. I don't know if I can handle it. I don't know if I can handle it. Right? With the Knight of Cups universe, I don't know if I want to give my time, my energy, my emotion, right? I don't know if I can throw myself into this because I don't think I can handle it. Go into hermit mode, Virgo. Get enlightened on it because then you go from a knight to a king and you're like, oh, I do fucking want this. That's exactly, that's exactly what this is. I do want this. It actually feels very similar to the energy we're just uh, picking up on in that last reading, but this feels definitely like career. This definitely feels like career for a lot of you. And like I said, for some, it can be a relationship. If that's the case, the, the first reading and the second reading will probably resonate with you, okay? But this is resistance because you're just not sure you can handle it. And then you realize how badly you actually do want this, okay? So Virgo, work through the doubt. Don't fall into analysis paralysis because you're going to realize how badly you want this, okay? That being said, where to start? Let's look at the Two of Pentacles. Let's look at the Two of Pentacles because I feel like that's everything that you're wondering about, like if you can actually handle it. And I feel like it's like a whole package deal. Like, can I handle career? Can I handle working on myself? Can I handle taking care of myself? Can I handle the household? Can I handle being in a relationship? Can I handle a family? It's like, can you handle it all? Can I have it all? I feel that energy with the Two of Pentacles. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Give me a second. Hmm. Let's use a steampunk deck here. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles for Virgo. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles for Virgo. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles for Virgo. Come on. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles for Virgo. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles for Virgo. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles energy for Virgo. Yeah, and you know it's a good opportunity because, like, you know it's going to be celebrated. You know. Don't be afraid, Virgo. Don't doubt yourself. You're very capable. Interesting. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be um, earth or air. This is a shadowy Taurian energy, okay? So shadow Taurian energy is someone who's not exactly self-assured, and because they're not self-assured, sometimes they do lash out. So Virgo, please be mindful of that. Um, but you, you know you want this, but you're just doubting yourself here, okay? You're just doubting yourself. Talk about the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, star in reverse, Aquarian energy, more of that doubt, lacking faith. You're lacking faith in yourself, Virgo. Don't do that. Talk about the Two of Pentacles. I do feel a little bit of like limelight energy with this. There might be something public, whatever it is you're doing. Oh, now I got that King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. I do also feel, yeah, I'm starting to feel romance here for some of you. Like I said, some of you, this is a romance read. Others, this is just work. But with that King of Pentacles and King of Cups, some of you, this is between you and another person where it's like, you know that there could be something fucking amazing. And with the Scorpio energy and Taurian energy, regardless of your sign, it's just indicating that these are two very compatible people. The seventh houses of each other, right? House of relationships. So Virgo, for you, that'd be Pisces, right? Um, but you know that there could be something had here, but there's a lack of faith. Whether you're going to a business deal with someone or a relationship with someone, a lot of you, like I said, this is business. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles.
Ay, ay, ay. Oh, there's an Empress in Reverse again with the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is Libra energy. Empress in Reverse is Libra, Taurus, Divine Feminine energy. You're going to take a time out to figure this out. And as you should, Four of Swords is the minor arcana to the major hermit card, which is exactly what you're going to do, right? And you're going to realize how badly you want this and that you can handle it. Take this time to get enlightened here because that's exactly what's going to help you feel better about this and come into some clarity on it, okay? Talking about Two of Pentacles. Talking about Two of Pentacles. For some of you, this is like a business and romance deal. Some of you, this is a business deal. Some of you, this is business within yourself, like for yourself, something you're starting for yourself. Trying to reconcile every aspect of yourself and how you feel about it. Wow. Yeah. Death in reverse, scorpionic energy. Why is it not focusing? We're not in ret retrograde yet. <laughs> Ten of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy, and then we have Temperance, more Sag energy. You will find balance here because you will get the clarity and you're going to stop resisting. You're going to put down the burden of doubt. You're going to put down the burden of resistance, whether this is a possible romance or a business deal or business that you want to build for yourself. I do feel very heavy pentacles, very heavy career. You will find balance. You'll know what to do because overall you will make that choice. You will make that choice, Virgo, that two of wands in reverse. You will make that choice, okay? Do not fall into analysis paralysis on this, okay? By looking in your past and comparing. The past is the past. You got the now is the now. The past is the past. These are different people. You're a different person. Always remember that. You're a different person than you were whenever this shit happened to you, okay? Virgo, I like this energy. I'm going to pull some advice for you. I don't even feel the need to touch on the other cards because this is just all your doubt, and fear about if you can really handle it and then you're gonna end up making a decision anyway okay because you're gonna realize how badly you want this so yeah let's pull some advice with the spirit animal deck and then we'll wrap this up so it's gonna be two spreads for my virgos any advice any advice for my virgos any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Come on. <laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? I do feel a lot of social energy with this too. Sorry, they're pulling me back in. Especially for those where whatever it is you're planning might be kind of public. I feel like people are going to celebrate it. I do. I feel a lot of celebratory, supportive energy from a lot of people, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're working on Virgo. I think that's, again, for those who are, this is a more public situation. Oh, Virgos. I just heard the people will celebrate it. Ooh, I like that. That's only for a few. We have Sandpiper Spirit. Be playful. 51 breaking down to a 6 with Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide with that cyclical energy, okay? Virgos, this is opening up so many doors for you, so many opportunities. It's going to it's gonna change your life is honestly what I'm getting to. Whatever this this business aspect is that I'm picking up on, it feels big, okay? And, I've, and even if it's just like a relationship, like I said, for romance for some of you, it's going to be something you haven't experienced before. It's just going to light up your world is what I'm getting. It's going to light up your heart as well. And it's going to put you in such a fun, childlike energy. And you're going to be really happy. And it is going to be very abundant for you as well. Buffalo is very auspicious. It's like a very Ten of Pentacles energy here, okay? So Virgos, get out of analysis paralysis, get rid of the doubt. Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos? Ooh, we got a lot of cards coming out here, Virgo. Any other advice for my Virgos? Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> Vulture Spirit, nothing is wasted. 63 breaking down to a nine. And Pig Spirit, use your mind wisely. I feel like this came out for someone recently. 
I think it came out for water, one of the water signs. I could be wrong, though. Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. 47, breaking down to an 11. You're close to coming into something brand spanking new. Like I said, something that you haven't experienced before, an energy you haven't experienced before, something that's very abundant, something that also brings you a hell of a lot of happiness. And with vulture spirit and pig spirit, this is intuition and being smart about it, seeing things for what they are and, and not wasting your energy. Seeing that there's no point in doubting this, seeing that there's no point in doubting yourself, seeing that there's no point in getting stuck in analysis paralysis of whatever has happened to you in the past that's similar to the situation or just reminds you of old situations because it's a waste of energy. Use all your energy for this, this new opportunity, whatever it is, okay? And you know that that's the smart thing to do, Virgo. You, I know you know that. And I can hear some of you. I know. I feel a little couple eye rolls too, and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> and for the real, I can't do it. Fuck it. I can't do it. Um, and for the romance people, we have Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five. And Owl Spirit, you see clearly now. 43 breaking down to a seven. See through the doubt, work through the doubt, work through whatever those issues are that like why they're coming up here because this is for you. It's something that you have a lot of passion for, something you got a lot of love for. And for those where this is more of a romance spread as opposed to career, Nightingale Spirit for me as a reader comes out when there's a very significant love interest at play here, okay? And you're using your intuition and you really see this, this opportunity for what it is now. And like I said, after going to that hermit mode, getting enlightened about it, not to mention, where did that Four of Swords go? Hold on. The minor to the major. As above, so below. For some of you, this is divinely orchestrated, and you know that now. And it's like, okay, thank you, spirit. <laughs> some of you might even be saying that. Once you hit this, like, King of Cups energy, once you realize how badly you want this, work or romance or otherwise, you're going to realize it's basically, it was orchestrated, and that it's time to accept it. Overall, oh, very nice. Swan spirit, time for a deep dive. 60 breaking down to a six. Being honest with yourself. That's what I'm getting with this. Being super honest with yourself about where your doubt is coming from, what you really deserve, what's really meant for you, and that you can handle this. You can handle this. Because why? Because underneath that, white raven spirit, trust in the magic. 66, a master number. Have a very honest conversation with yourself about this because you deserve it. It's yours. It's, a, it's essentially a gift, right? It's some of you, it's divinely orchestrated and there's no reason to doubt yourself. You can handle it. Trust. It was given to you because you can handle it. Put it that way. I'm putting it that way. It was given to you because you can handle it, okay? Virgos, I loved this one. This was a fun one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy... <coughs> Jeez, excuse me. Hold on. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with BitChute. I'm also on BitChute. Please check that out with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later, okay? Have a great like rest of your birthday season. I know we're at the tail end. But have a great night. Have a great month. Enjoy yourself. See you later, Virgos. Namaste.